I am Christina Stolle, who has been working with the deaf for the past 30 years. I have passion for development of deaf people in Zimbabwe. And I first worked as a teacher of the deaf. Then I was promoted to be an education officer, um, just like the school's inspector in some other countries. And my focus was on the education of the deaf which involved also staff developing teachers on deaf education and the communities, even the parents. You will know we still have negative attitudes on people with disability, more so with people who are deaf, because deafness is not a visible disability and it gets less empathy and sympathy from people. So I, I worked with the ministry after that I resigned and I joined the Zimbabwe National Association of the Deaf, Zimna, the acronym, as a director. And all the time I've been working with the deaf, I have noticed a lot of gaps that need to be filled for them to participate fully in the society. When they talk about persons with disability, they talk about what is the physical, what they can see, the blind, the physical, disabled and the like and they get less support, less empathy and involvement. And also because they have communication challenges, that's their main challenge. You find people think they are dumb. That's why they call them deaf and dumb, which is not correct. And we have found also that even their performance in school is very low. From the years that, I think the pass rate is very low. And also even in enrollment, the, the, we have fewer deaf people in schools. Most of them are in homes. We still have deaf children who are hidden in homes. Although we have done a lot of um, sensitization to the community, the parents. You know, it takes time perhaps for attitudes to, and habits to get out. They feel they are not of economic benefit and there is no need of taking them to school. I mean the parents. And also the attitudes where people, because they don't communicate, they don't communicate in the language people understand. They use sign language, their first language. People think they are not capable. When they are very capable, is the environment that has barriers which have to be worked on and improved so that they participate fully to the maximum of their abilities. I see Chase as a catalyst to socialization of the deaf. One, this socialization can be within themselves. You know, there is no community of deaf people. They are bo and the research says that about 95% of deaf of the deaf are born of hearing parents. So from birth, no one stimulates them in language development because they don't know sign language. So chess can be a, a forum for the deaf where <clears throat> maybe they will have clubs, meet other deaf people, have that feeling of belonging, that sense of belonging. Then we also have, they can get models of language of, from other deaf people. Then it doesn't mean that they will always play with deaf people only. They also play with hearing people and other disabled people. So it will help them, it will help them to interact freely in a natural way, in a functional way with others. And you know they have a deaf culture. The other hearing people can even learn the deaf culture through playing chess with the, with the deaf. And also, you know, some of them will be competent in the game. And it will also make people reduce those negative attitudes to say they are unable. It will also build self-esteem in themselves and confidence. You know, when you are always discriminated against, you lose your confidence and self-esteem. So that will be another vehicle for them to, to boost their esteem and participate fully in the society. Then also other people will feel ah, these people can do something because they feel they are dull, they are white because of this lack of communication. Then we also look at 
where they can sell out their language to people and their culture. People will see, ah, these people have a way of communicating just like Shonande, Bele, English. They have sign language. Then they get respect out of their competence, out of people seeing the interaction and people can also learn that language. So I see it as a very beneficial to the deaf people, chess. Then also you find they, it, it can be a profession for some. We are not tapping them their, 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 all their abilities because they are left out, we can't communicate with them. Some are competent enough to be professionals in the area, they earn a living, contribute towards the development of the country.